interesting. And ladies and gentlemen, we are off today on this Company of Heroes 2 match with Al Pan facing against Twisted Tootsie. Twisted Tootsie is playing as the British forces, deciding to bring out a mortar as well as an infantry section. But over here, Al Pan <laughs> is playing as Austere with the Pioneer stuff. This map is Lado Corellia. And what do we see here from Twisted Tutsi? He decides to bring out an assault infantry section onto the battlefield. Ooh, we see some barbed wire going down. This is a good idea as it is stopping the opponent from coming around and taking the cutoff from a certain flanking position. We also see a sniper in the build from Elburn. Normally the correct choice for facing up against Brits. This is almost an exact replica of the game that we saw. Yes, in our last match. So, if you did not see the last match, what Twisted Tootsie liked to do was use the Mortar's Smoke ability onto the cutoff with an infantry section and cap it indefinitely. Sniper opens up and forces back the infantry section into a line of sight hider. And the Mortar begins raining death down pioneers of Lado Corellia. Map control looking fairly even across the board. Sniper takes a shot and then is forced back to base once again. While Struppen capping the fringes of the map, Mortar pushing forward, and the cutoff being now taken off. by Twisted Tootsie. The enemy has broken our supply lines. What will Alpan do? His sniper needs to start getting more. And here we go, just as I said, the mortar smoke coming in onto the cutoff point. And the sniper can't shoot through the smoke because he is only a human. We have a close battle over here, and the sniper just bit the dust to an amazing flank from Twisted Tutsi. Twisted Tutsi spurred on by his. Defeat by Alpern just last game, only moments before this. Now Alpern really is on the ropes. We see him tacking up to tier two. Mortar getting found by the pioneers will retreat in time. Meanwhile, one man infantry section holds his own against the three man or stroop. Who will win? Who will blink first? He retreats. Alpern decides to rip build his sniper. Pioneers, or more correctly known as sappers, push back the Ostrup. 
and keep pushing. Sniper takes his first shot and sappers run back to base. Meanwhile, Twisted Tootsie's army gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> Excuse me for that lapse in my abilities as a caster. This is my first ever ASMR cast for you guys watching right now on the stream. I hope you do appreciate it. One of the comments on chat right now is No Nut November just got ten times harder. I'm so glad that you find my voice so intoxicating. Meanwhile, we have the pioneers wiring off the green cover for the British forces. Twisted Tutsi is not far away from his trusted M5 half track transport. Sniper is getting currently surrounded by Her Majesty's troops and has to soft retreat backwards. Meanwhile, on the south, more territory is being taken for the Empire. Sapper squad is being very bold. A bit too bold, if you ask me. But the new command post is ready. Grenade is being lobbed. He lobbed his own grenade to stop the sniper from being able to see him. Very next level play is here from Twisted. But it won't hold him, he won't be able to capture the entire point because the smoke will fade and the sniper will see his prize. He takes the shot and he retreats. Here we go, no pack 43 or pack 40. Sniper has been spotted. This is a very bad place and time for this austere sniper and he bites the dust once more down in the south Elpen managing to push back but I think his days are numbered in this game I was literally sitting here for a minute, wondering why I can't hear Pudding, and then I realised you're doing AR commentary. Yes. That is why the game is quiet. The pioneers nearly have managed to escape with their lives. But now what do we see? What do we see being built? Right now. It is the infamous 2-2. Two, two. Telemine being planted. Or well, Strupen could jump out and perhaps Panzerfaust. Oh, there is a mine there. A British mine. Infantry section just wants to push, but the two to two says no. Or Strupen trying to hold the south. But ooh, maybe should have stayed there for a little bit longer. And they would have killed the medics. Oh, Elpern. And the Ostrupen are going to be murdered once more. Oh, 
What will Alpern do? He is currently being surrounded. Here is the pack gun, but it has been caught out of position. And this time, Twisted is learning from his mistakes, his past mistakes, as he pushes forward with a mine sweeper. Pack gun trying to shoot through the shrubbery, but it will not do so, as I believe this type of shrubbery is impenetrable. As you can see. Oh, Pakan actually managed to get a shot through. Maybe not so impenetrable after all. In the base, we have some Enemy healing going on. So by now, Alpern has lost two snipers. Twisted. Don't think he has lost anything. Let us see. No. The capture point is being overrun. He still has all his units left. Helping hands, can you give your ASMR opinion about going Ostrupen against UKF? I think it is a very, very plausible strategy. However, it seems Twisted Tutsi has found a way to beat this strategy with the use of mortar smoke and assault sections upgraded with Thompsons. The Huns have enemy threatening a capture point. Twisted Tutsi has enough manpower now to call on a Cromwell. If he just so decides to choose so, but the 2-2-2 two, two, two hits a mine, and now will die to the quad mount of the half track as well. Plans of Grenadiers trying their very best to kill those infantry sections on retreat, but no cigar. I think Elpen probably needs to use this ability here. Supply drop, he needs more troops. Pulls the quad back into play. Where is the pack gun? It is moving up. About to take another shot. But no. It is forced back once again. Thanks to the mortar fire. From Twisted Dootsy. M5 being moved over to support. Said mortar and the panzer grenadiers have to run back twisted tootsie is floating quite a bit of manpower he could build himself a cromwell but he has not done so he has teched up a hammer which makes me think he will build a comet in the next few seconds Pioneers have to run, 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 all the way back home. Elpern really needs 
some Shreks, I believe, because here comes the comet. The capture point is being overrun. Good. I noticed that Elpen was going to build himself another pack gun, but then decided not to. He decided correctly, I might add, to then call in the supply drop, where he gets both the pack gun and the MG, as well as a little surprise. Oh no, he's going to hit a mine, only loses one man, not too bad. Half-track needs to be very careful against the pack gun, only two shots to kill it. Please say Panzer Sparwagen 200 say Vines Swanzig in that voice. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. Oh no, he's going to run right into the telemine. Oh dear. He even spotted that mine a few minutes ago. God damn it, Twisted Tootsie. This is Twisted Tootsie throwing incredibly hard right now. And now he dives in recklessly with his M5. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is why you always push forward with sweepers, especially with your most expensive units let this be a lesson learned to you all but obviously not a lesson learned for twisted tootsie as he just made the same fucking mistake last game these grenades he lobbed them on both exits so one would definitely hit though I think it will just about get away expensive use of munitions 70 I have completely no idea why a chat M10, not a Jackson, sorry, is on the field. Hello, everybody from Elpern Stream. We are casting your game. Ah, oh, that was a shame. Those pack guns, if they had not hit the log, that volley would have killed the half track. Here we go, another nice grenade right on top of all this infantry. And now they have to run through the flames of hell itself. And followed by another grenade, this time a gamma bomb. Not doing too badly, but no wipes unfortunately for Twisted Tootsie. What do we see here in the base of Elpern? We see Tier 3 being finally teched. He's pushing out with low health Ostrupen. He should not do this. But Elpern, I think, has decided to blob with a big A move click with his entire army into one location. 
fortunately for him, Twisted Tootsie does not have any strong indirect fire. Will Alphan somehow be able to win this game? I think so, because we keep seeing M10s being built when there is no goddamn armor on the field. Enemy causing trouble. Try to take one of our points. Our supply line's broken. The enemy are weakening. I guess. Twisted Tootsie's strategy is to crush his opponent to death. To take a point from us. Hmm. Big mistake from Elpa not to have any Ostrupen with his Panzer Grenadiers, as they will now all get crushed. Oh dear, oh dear. Twisted Tootsie has hit another telemine. When will he learn? That was a nice, I believe, mine or mortar. Panzer Grenadier has fallen in combat, but I believe so will the Jackson once more to an attack round from Elpern. needs to be said the Twisted Tootsie has many, many victory points to his name. And there goes one of the M10s. Oh no. I believe this half-track days are numbered. It's getting a bit too bold. going to walk right into an S minefield if he is not careful. Decides to lob a gamma bomb down to destroy said mines. Maybe not a bad idea, but with almost 1000 manpower, he probably should get a goddamn minesweeper squad. Bundle grenade on the retreat, but a little bit too slow. We have an Oswind from Elpern. And he makes the same mistake as well to push forward without a minesweeper. Deary, deary me. Jackson could rush over to the weakened Ostwind but is not interested in doing so. Could go the long way around. But Twisted Tootsie has no ambition for greatness, it seems. Alpern managing to hold on to two victory points for the time being. Oh, a very nice flank coming in here. Meanwhile, the M10 did decide to flank round, but a bit too late, I might add. Why are you aroused? Don't worry, it's only natural. The soothing voices of helping hands. Bring joy to anyone who hears them.
twisted Tootsie decides yet again that the M10 is the way. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. But I can assure you. You don't know the way. Yes, Uganda Knuckles. He does not know the way. Meanwhile, Jackson show, likes to show his rear armor like some kind of street whore. Showing their backside to strangers. Not the greatest display, I might add. Elpen deciding to go for yet more Ostwins when I believe Panzer Fours would be more appropriate. Off goes one more Gammon Bomb. And the victory points are getting lower and lower for Elpan on to 40. Pack guns fairly close to the Oswin to support their comrade. Pack guns could do with a little bit of healing. Do not like this. Oh, good bundle grenade, but very well dodged from Twisted Tootsie. Packons are clumped up together. Never a good idea. Meanwhile, M10 has found the Oswind on its own in the south because both anti tank guns are up in the north. But he decides not to get the last shot in. No, he does. He gets the shot in, but is received with an engine damage. The Jackson trying his best to run away from the approaching doom that is of the pack 40s. Will he get away? I don't think so. The Ostrupen will be providing line of sight and goodbye. No? Ooh. He tries to attack ground from max range but is unsuccessful. Successful. A capture point is being overrun. Hmm. Packons have found the M five out of position and take it down. Unfortunately, it has been abandoned. He will try to recruit it, but it is not worth it. Enemy causing trouble, trying to take one of our and points. there she goes. Thirty-eight victory points remain. Jackson will try to do his best to crush, and crush he will. Bye bye, Vans Grenadiers. <sighs> Elvan taking this opportunity to go back to base and get a little bit of TLC. Does he have time? For only 36 victory points remain for our dear Elpa in this match. Using the smoke to cover the capture of this victory point is a smart play from Twisted Tootsie. Panzer Grenadiers are going to stop the cap. Bundle Grenade going in. 
but not before. A very well placed phosphorus grenade hits them in the ass. They will try to retreat, but not so fast. I think this is game. Even though Twisted Tootsie keeps throwing away his armor. Nothing will stop the onslaught of the assault sections. We might see a gamma bomb on the retreat here. Empty tank guns are back. Getting some good shots in. One more shot needed. But it was not to be. Ah, oh, low health squads retreat. Your Strupen bites the dust. And now the MG turns to deal with the flanking infantry section. Good play. But it won't be enough. It won't be enough. Why, hello there, Rami. This is the first time I have ever, ever done an ASMR company of heroes cast. Why have I decided to do this, you may ask? Well, I don't know. I was bored, and I just thought it would be fun for a laugh. Jackson trying to do his best to crush, but not too successful. In the middle VP will be decapped, and now a double cap is in effect. 21 and ticking. 20. Jackson being used to stop the pioneers from capturing, but the Sorry, not the Jackson, the M10. Easy to mix the two up. They're very similar. Oh, barely. Oh, barely managing to escape. Yes, creative name. I do realize that. That is why I just corrected myself. Good white phosphorus grenades. Ooh. Will the infantry section die? It's very low. And the grenade is trying. No, not today. And now the Oswind is getting dived by double Jacksons. It goes down, but I think one Jackson, fuck's sake, M10, will get killed. An okay trade. But for Twisted, a very good trade, as he is ahead dramatically. Ramix, Ramix, thank you very much for the subscription. If you guys want more ASMR Company of Heroes 2, please let me know down in the comment section, because this video will be put on YouTube, or on Twitch chat right now. And the grenadier dies. And another panzer grenadier is about to drop. And maybe even the pioneers. Well, they die too. On this snowy wasteland of a battlefield. I think that is it for Alpern. 16 VPs left. Losing all his majority of his army, and he decides to throw in the towel. GG. Ah. And that is the end of this match. Shall we summarize? Twisted Tootsie fails to remember to sweep mines. If he had done this, he would have won the game much sooner. 
Alpern, getting caught out multiple times with his poor sniper play at the start of this game. Maybe not the right map for it, but there you go. That is the end of this game. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, thank you for watching that video. If you want more content, please click on the link over here and over here. If you would like to subscribe, click on the button down here. Also click on the notification bell down there so you're notified whenever I post new YouTube content. I also stream nearly every single day on Twitch. Uh, I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash helping hands. Uh, and if you want to show your support there, please do subscribe uh, as all your support helps me do this full time. And uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate it as always and catch you next time. Bye bye.